click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with the image restoration chapter for digital image processing so this is one of the fundamental step of digital image processing and we have now the knowledge of how the degradation model is there so that initially we expect a degraded image having certain degradation along with the addition of the noise so that the image restoration techniques will be successful to get the original details recovered restored into the image form so with this knowledge we have several type of the filterings and in this particular family the band reject filters we shall be addressing in this video so let us see the details <music> So here we start with our topic band reject filters. So under the title band reject filters, we shall see how there will be the presence of periodic type of the noise and that can be further reduced by the help of filtering here. So as we have the term periodic noise, we have the example that it is a pure sine wave. So for a pure sine wave, there appear a pair of impulses that we can say in the conjugate form as we have a pair here into the frequency domain representation there. So mathematically in the spatial domain I can say the time domain generally we opt for. So the spatial domain representation of the image signal will be f of x comma y. So this is equal to capital A representing the maximum magnitude, maximum amplitude along with a sine function that is having u0x added with v0y as the two parameters there. So this is spatial domain representation of the periodic noise signal here. Now when we take the Fourier transform, in the Fourier representation, the frequency representation we have the denotion by capital F of u comma v. So it is computed by minus j of a by 2. In the square bracket, we have a del function representing the impulse for u minus u0 by 2 pi v minus v0 by 2 pi minus we have the another impulse as we have talked about the pair of impulses so this has del in bracket u plus u0 by 2 pi whereas v is added with v0 plus 2 pi so these are the two impulses now we have the solution with the help of the band reject filters further bandpass filters, then notch filters and optimum notch filterings that we shall be addressing into the subsequent lectures here. So here we start with the band reject filters that remove or attenuate a band of frequencies, a selected value range for the frequencies around the origin into the Fourier domain. So this has the rejection of the isotropic frequency values. Now in the three dimensional view, the band reject filter can be represented like this. The u and v are the two parameter axes into the frequency domain. Rest of the amplitude is shown as per the third dimension here. So this is the case of ideal type of the band reject filter. It should be there. The formulation representation for the filter function in the frequency domain is by capital H of u comma v opting the values 1 if d of u comma v is less than d0 minus w by 2. It has the value 0 if d0 minus w by 2 is less than capital D of u comma v less than or equal to d0 added with w by 2. Or if we have the criterion satisfied d of u comma v greater than the addition of d0 with w by 2, we opt the value 1 for this filter function here. Now here the representation capital D of u comma v is the distance from the origin of the centered frequency rectangle. W is the width of this particular band here and D0 is the radial center. Now here we have the representation of the function into the Butterworth form. So this is the filter into the Butterworth. So practically the ideal case is not always the possible 
for the Butterworth case, we have the three-dimensional visualization here, where the filter function into the frequency domain represented as h of u v is equal to 1 upon 1 plus here we have the square bracket that has d of u v into w divided by d square of u v minus d 0 square. So, this has the power 2 to the n here. Now, here we have the n to be the order of the Butterworth filter we can say here nth order Butterworth filter can be used for the band reject purposes here. In similar fashion, the Gaussian type filter can also be represented for the band reject case like this here. So, the filter function h of u comma v is equal to 1 minus the exponential minus 1 by 2 in the square bracket we have d square u comma v minus d 0 square divided by d of u v into w the bracket has been squared here. One of the principal applications of the band reject type of the filtering for the noise removal case in the applications where the general location of the noise components into the frequency domain is approximately known to us. A good example is an image that has been corrupted by the additive type of the periodic noise that can be approximated as the two-dimensional sinusoidal functions. So, this is the example we shall be discussing where we have the noisy image taken as the input. In this image, the periodic type of the noise you can see here into the number of rows and the columns here. So, the same pattern is to repeat throughout this particular image. So, this is the periodic noisy image I can say. The corresponding spectrum is shown on its right hand side here. Then the band reject filter has the representation into the two dimensional case like this. And finally, application of the same onto the periodic type of the image use as the filtered image. The two visuals you can compare for the original noisy image and the filtered image, we get improved results with the help of such type of filtering here. I hope the band reject type of the filtering is clear to you people for the purpose of having the image restoration possible here. In the next lecture, we shall be addressing its dual that it is band pass filtering. I hope you enjoy the subject learning with digital image processing for more information of this and the knowledge with various concept and the practice of various programs. You can subscribe to eKIDA channel. Thank you.